So the last two nights of our trip, we're back in Oslo. That's the central train station down there. And we're staying on a pretty high floor of a building across from it. And in a very swank apartment. In a very swank apartment, yes. It's very nice. It's like 10 million krona. Yeah, there are more. Places in this apartment are going for like, you know, 10 million kroner ish, Norwegian. So, this is our dinner for tonight. I am having this one. This is mine, which yeah. is a reindeer salad, Sherry's. She's having a prosciutto salad and margarita pizza. It's supposed to be like Norwegian Italian, so we'll see how it is. It's supposed to be like the best Italian pizza here in Oslo. Yes. And I found in a tax free duty free shop, a great Italian wine from Allegrini from the Veneto, uh, Palazzo della Torre, and uh, I think it was like 160 krona, no maybe a little bit more than that, like probably somewhere around 21 or 22 American dollars, which is really not bad. So kind of what we pay then for a it. A little bit, a little bit more, but not much. A little more than what we would pay for it. Yeah. All right, you excited for dinner? I'm really excited. I'm really, really hungry. So delicious. Yeah. Okay, so here's Aquavit, the drink of Norway. And this is Aquavit Bitter, also the drink in Norway. These are both made by a, a very old beer producer, so they're pretty well known, but I think uh, there are lots of different flavors and kinds of Aquavit. I really like this one. It's, uh, the bitter one is good. Delicious. <laughs> okay. Here we are in Oslo. This is the old part of town. And some of the area, um, I think, may have been settled around 1000 AD from the gist that I've gotten. So we decided to walk over to this monastery, which I think was completed being built in 1239. Um, I was really excited to come here actually and uh, and I should say it's like it was like a kind of a pretty sunny day in Oslo but the clouds have come in so I don't know if I need sunglasses now but whatever so here we are at this monastery that was finished in 1239 which I was definitely excited to come here but the odd part about it is I don't know without sounding negative I feel like a little underwhelmed and it might be because we have been really spoiled like seeing very old things roman ruins in most of northern italy um very old buildings in vienna and austria so yeah the main thing is i can't deal with the fucking graffiti you know there's graffiti yes we're in a city we're in a city of a half a million people and, uh, you know, we just spent the last three weeks going to Oslo. Yes, Trump's away up in the Arctic Circle. Gothenburg, Sweden, the home of Volvo. Um, then we took the train to, or the bus, right? No, train from Gothenburg. Train from Gothenburg to Copenhagen. And, you know, Copenhagen was amazing. Gothenburg was amazing. People were really friendly. Um, I can't believe how much the Swedes really go out of their way. Not that the not that the Norwegians don't. Anyhow, so Copenhagen, yes, we were like staying near the central train station. There was a lot of graffiti. It kind of reminded me of Manhattan, but it was Copenhagen. 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 Um, I don't know. So it didn't bother me as much. But for some reason in Oslo, the whole city is very, very quaint. And here we are, like, in this very old 
part of the city with graffiti in many ways surrounding us. It's a little bit of a drag. So I don't want to say it's bringing me down, but it's kind of bringing me down. Yeah, I feel that way too. So, yeah. But here we are in this old part of town. And then I think we're going to head over to the um, Royal Palace and we'll see what goes on over there. So, yeah, I think that's about it. Okay.